today we're going to clean up the Jeep. This is a 2002 Wrangler. Got this when I got back from Saudi Arabia in 2003. I've been using the Jeep to pull a drag around the backyard, trying to clean up some of the uh, area, cut down some of the weeds, level off the ground. But now that I've got the tractor, I'm going to use it instead. But what we've got is a pretty dirty Jeep, pretty nasty down there. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of work on it as well. I think I've got a starter or a grounding problem which wouldn't surprise me grounding with what I've been doing but uh, we had built this do some off-roading which it's been very capable doing everything I've asked it to do so I need to get back out to that role but you can see we've had uh, some critters nesting in here over the months so but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and spray it down Using the AMS oil engine degreaser. Alright, we're gonna spray it. Goes pretty it goes pretty straightforward. Engine's off, it's relatively cool. Uh, not gonna spray it on any sensitive parts. It's Jeep, it's gone through some pretty good water, mud, never had any issues, so I think we're good there. I'm not gonna high pressure wash it. Uh, for the most part, it'll just be a hose in. Maybe uh, some pressure coming off there, but not using the pressure washer. But uh, shake the can, spray it on generously. Scrub any really gringy parts, which I might get the uh, brush and brush up some of these areas. But uh, just go ahead and start spraying it on. Afterward, you see I got a filter. Afterward, I'm going to be uh, like I said, doing some work later, which will include uh, changing the oil, fluids. I got a new AMS oil filter to go on here, get rid of this air aid one. Been on there since right after I bought it. Uh, that was one of the first upgrades, was the throttle body spacer, straight tube, and the air. It helped it out, but we did the uh, lift shortly after. I think within a month of owning it, I had uh, put the lift on. There's my ARB locker, air pump. Might not be as cool as I had thought it was. Okay, can's almost empty, and I think I've got pretty much everything. All right, so we're gonna let that set. I'll spray it up, scrunch it up, or uh, scrub it up, and it'll come back when I get ready to spray it off. Well, it's been uh, about 15 minutes. By the time I start spraying it off, it'll be 15. 
I've uh, been scrubbing it off a little bit, hitting some of the spots. So, it's starting to come around. Looks pretty decent overall. I think we're ready to spray it down, get all this cleaned off before it dries, and uh, see how it looks. After I get it done, I'm going to be uh, using the other product that uh, Amazon has out Mud Slinger. is off pretty good This is the uh, grounding wire for the pump, uh, the uh, air compressor. It's part of the what I got to rewire. Put on a better connection, give it a little bit more slack, and then get uh, just snapped. It was too so tight. It's been on there a while, but I had to pull the battery out, and I think in a combination of the way the connections are and not being able to just pull it off. It uh, jammed up. See the dirt kind of rolling out of the uh, alternator. Driving around in the backyard was pretty dusty. A lot, of, a lot of dust and dirt caught up in some of these areas. Alright. I think we'll uh, call that good. Let it dry. Uh, just gonna let it air dry and then we will um, I'll spray it with the Mudslinger, which uh, if you saw the video I did on the uh, Legacy, the Red Legacy after the uh, autocross, I think it looks pretty sharp. So, all right, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. All right, as you can see, it's dried up, wiped it down a little bit, some spots, but gonna be hitting the uh, intake box. Fuse box, and yeah, evap box over here, a couple of other spots with the uh, mud slinger. And uh, see how it holds up. So, it's pretty simple. Again, uh, clean and dry before applying, shake well, and then spray evenly and liberally. On desired surfaces, do not spray pedals, seats, brakes, or brake assemblies. Yeah. And then uh, allow to dry for 15 minutes, sweep off excess 
If you leave it wet, it gives it a little bit more protection against uh, mud and snow, but it uh, can actually collect more dust if it's wet. Obviously, you know, the wet surfaces can do that, right? But uh, that's pretty, pretty straight. Go ahead and let that dry. Or let it set for 15 minutes, not dry so much. And uh, come back, wipe it off. So let it set. It is 15 minutes, and then wipe, just got done wiping it off, and uh, I think it looks pretty good. So there uh, is the uh, results of how it looks. Now let's see how it holds up. Uh, that'll be interesting. There's been some um, other dealers posted some videos that are really good, showing a UTV. It was done up, uh, sprayed down, let go, and then taking it out. You do some pretty good mud. Come back and just spray it off with the hose, and it just clumps off. It just you know cleans up right away, which is nice. But um, yeah, I got to get this back up and going, up and running. The uh, it's been sitting for too long. I think I got a starter going out, and uh, just need to do full fluids. Uh, differential fluid. Yeah. I got our pinion seals that I need to replace. The uh, power steering probably flush that. The brakes, the clutch, uh, do an oil flush, change that out. Uh, it's got the five speed, so probably drain the uh, fluid and put in fresh gear lube in the transfer case and the transmission as well. But um, yeah, stay tuned for those videos. And uh, thanks for watching.